Hey everyone, this is Blood Mako and this is my run for Kadaj uh, event, the Lufinia fight. So basically, uh, uh, as you can see from the very beginning, I had to retry this stage once. Mainly because uh, towards the end, uh, one of the boss actually petrified my Paladin Cecil. Uh, if you pause at the right time, you can actually see. Uh, oh, you, you wouldn't see that he got petrified, but you see that I just barely missed the turn count, which was uh, 71. I was at 71 turns, but the turn count was 70. And uh, in case you didn't know, these bosses they petrify, but it doesn't instantly kill, or it doesn't kill the character, it just petrifies the character for I think 2 to 3 turns. So it's actually uh, not too bad if uh, your character doesn't do much damage, but uh, as you can as you saw, I was at 71 turns, I needed the damage, so I had to retry this stage again. I actually tried many many different team comps and uh, finally landed on this team comp. It's basically uh, Gobes, Alan Cecil and uh, Nine. Uh, Nine and Gobes is boosted here, but Alan Cecil is just here for uh, his overheals and stuff. Oh, by the way, I'm really sorry about uh, releasing this uh, video so late. It's mainly because I had an exam today. So my exam is over already, which is why I'm recording. So these bosses, these bosses are such a pain if you don't have Kadaj. He he makes this fight uh, really easy. But if you don't have him, then it is such a pain. Okay, so basically you the op condition for this fight is to always have at least one debuff. And uh, you will notice my this this current team of mine, uh, 9 doesn't give any debuff. Uh, Baladin Cecil only uh, puts uh, Holy Impair. And uh, Gobes only puts uh, Dark Impair. Ah, uh, you saw I just uh, had to just retry it again. Yeah, I failed this stage so many times. It, it took me god knows how many hours of uh, recording and uh, wasted footage just to try and get it done. But yeah, uh, so needless to say, I really hate this stage. I hate the fact that uh, how I screw up once and uh, that's it. You know, sometimes Gobes just does too much damage and pushes the boss to uh, cleanse themselves and then they do their, their stupid. Uh, evil eye which uh, petrifies if you don't have a debuff on them. So the issue I had with so many of these was that um, it wasn't the HP damage, no. Uh, with Paladin Cecil and with uh, Nine's uh, LD, it, the HP damage is not the issue. It is more of how tanky the boss gets at the end that uh, you can't really afford to get uh, petrified. So my mistake. Uh, just now in the, in the previous run was that I actually pushed the boss to uh, 89% and it cleansed itself and it was going to uh, take its turn after 9 which was the only person that uh, couldn't put a debuff other than a call and I decided to just restart instead of putting the call basically. Yeah, so you don't want to um, push the boss, boss to uh, the next threshold, which is uh, every 10% it will cleanse itself. So you don't, want, you don't want it to happen when it is about to use its uh, recast ability. Uh, unless you can immediately put another debuff on it after it cleanse. So uh, you might want to um, be very sparing with how you use Paladin Cecil's EX. Because he's uh, similar to Gobes, Paladin Cecil's EX and LD both places are uh, a debuff on the boss. Uh, so yeah, you guys can uh, plan it out with uh, a Gobes as well because uh, Gobes he, he from the way I used him in this fight, he tend to uh, push the boss over the threshold and cause himself to cleanse. So that was a lot. Of uh, I mean, I had to. We try a few times because of that. So I once in a while you actually see me, you know, just use a uh, HP plus or even brave. I can't remember whether I use a uh, brave, but yeah, uh, it was just mainly to not uh, push the boss to the next uh, to less than uh, ten percent, so that you will you will cleanse. You know, uh, I wanted it to to stay at that health for that moment. 
Uh, another very important thing for this fight is that I have a friend Gobez who has burst. So you see that my call I actually brought uh, Emmy and X Death. Uh, it's like the few people that has 100% gravity. And uh, the only reason why I brought these two characters or these two calls is because I don't have, uh, as so many people in other videos have shown, I don't have Caius. I don't have his uh, LD, so I don't have his uh, instant break. And that's like the most important part of this fight. He has a AoE instant break. And it's so important. And uh, right here, uh, I'm not sure whether it is in line or whatever, but uh, you see that I actually uh, pushed our primal roll with 9 and I uh, pushed the, the boss to the next threshold. And that's because the recast gauge is not uh, blinking. So you, that's another trick you can, you can pay attention to is that if the recast gauge is not blinking, it will not do its. Uh, Stupid evil, I think. And you don't have to worry about. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, you know getting petrified. Of course, the HP damage, as you can see right now, it, it's a pain to deal with, lah. But if you have a uh, nine's LD, then whatever damage, whatever number they have, is not an issue. Uh, my call on Paladin Cecil was uh, Jack, or I can't remember if it was Jack or Gabroth. Uh, either one of them. If it was Jack, then I could at least get one instant break with his LD. But the problem with these bosses is that they will keep cleansing. They will keep cleansing themselves. So putting a Jack call, I mean using a Jack call so early on in the fight is kind of uh, it defeats the purpose actually. So coming back to what I was saying about uh, my go best friend. Uh, yeah, so Gobert's burst effect is basically that the or the main, the most important part of the the burst effect for this fight at least is that it freezes the enemy. It is basically a set call, which come to think about it, uh, would be very nice to 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 use if the bosses don't cleanse themselves, which is the is stupid issue. You know? The fact that they keep cleansing themselves is what causes so many um, calls to be uh, to have issues here. Uh, yeah, so it freezes. It, it go best burst effect is it freezes. So if you're someone like me who has who doesn't have a go best burst, you can just bring Paladin's heal, use his burst at least, and um, rely on the on the friend go best burst effect. So the, these bosses will gain a ton of brief and have their stupid brief reduction thing at 79%, uh, 49% and 29%. So what I did in this video is to basically uh, use calls to settle or to handle the, the brief reduction at 79% and uh, to try and whittle them down as much as or as close as possible to uh, 50 percent because at 50 percent they don't trigger it but at 49 percent that's when all the magic happens you know when you gain a shit ton of brave and you do once basically so yeah that 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 is such a pain which is also why you see towards uh, at about the when the bosses are about 51-53%, I start to uh, be very careful with my skills. I, I do more uh, HP plus and I, uh, or rather single target attacks as much as I can at least to the bosses. Uh, right now, I think it's still far off but yeah. And uh, another thing to that, uh, another mistake that I made actually is that I actually swap out my own go best for my friend's support. And uh, I mean, that was because I was trying to play safe, you know, I wanted 9 and Paladin Cecil just on the off chance that, I mean, you never know, right, when you, when you might need uh, HP mitigation or, you know, you just need to heal your party up. Which is why I swapped out Gobez, but on hindsight, um, turns out it was actually fine if I had swapped out 9, because uh, 9 wasn't providing much for this uh, boss fight. Like, he, he was, but on the more defensive uh, side, you know, with his uh, LD and uh, 
And the shields, you know, the shields, oh my god, the shields makes things so much easier. So, uh, there are actually many ways to, to, to deal with uh, the amount of HP that they spam and, uh, uh, and them, you know, going so fast and uh, doing so much. Actually, you know, their brave attacks are also quite painful. Most of the time, they actually break whichever character they are targeting. So, one way to deal with is actually to bring. Uh, it's an old character, but uh, Warrior of Light. So if you have Zeldi, yeah, it works wonders here. The only issue is that uh, you might not have enough damage. Which, I initially brought him. And uh, yeah, I had some issues with uh, the debuffs and uh, the damage. The debuff wasn't that bad because Warrior of Light can put down a lock. Target lock at least. So uh, that counts as one debuff already. And he can do it with his S2 and his LD. So you know you can time it just nice where when the bosses cleanse or whatsoever, you can uh, you know reapply your LD or uh, do his uh, S uh, skill two uh, ability. Uh, for that fight, I think I brought Paladin Cecil, Gobes, and Warrior of Light. Oh no, oh, I think it was not Gobes. It was Lightning. I think I was trying out with Lightning because uh, these bosses. They cannot be delayed, but they can be uh, delayed by breaking them, which is why I kind of brought, uh, like, I was testing out uh, with lightning. But uh, I'm not sure if it was uh, because of the way I used my lightning, but uh, she was running out of steam really fast. Mainly because I, want, I didn't want the boss to take so many turns, but yeah, I didn't run, I, uh, that, that run was well, didn't go very well because towards the end, uh, lightning just wasn't doing much damage, which is why I brought Go Best instead. Uh, as you can see, uh, to even towards the end, he had no issue with his skill count. Uh, yes, uh, right here I see 51%. Uh, that Go Best uh, LD was pretty close. He, he, he pushed them pretty close. and uh, But I was very sure that they will not drop uh, beyond 59% uh, uh, for 50% uh, because his LD does about uh, but it's 2 to uh, low 3%. So you you can uh, you can you know roughly gauge based on that. So if you see they, they have like 52% uh, you might not want to use his LD. Uh, same goes with his uh with his EX skills. It it does quite a bit. So that is something to to, to, to take note of like at least. Yeah so uh as I was saying, you know, I could just swap out uh, 9 with uh, go back so that I can you know output more damage so that the turn count will not be uh, so close that is one way I can you can improve uh, this particular run that I did and yeah so after that right after I burst with the friend I would uh, spam obviously uh, his LD and try and get the boss as quickly as I can to the 29% mark uh, this is also the, the time where I will, I will use my burst uh, because even though uh, go, go best burst doesn't really help with your own burst uh, well I'm not exactly sure if it helps because of the you know the damage and stuff but I, I think it improves the brave damage but yeah I just I just wanted to um, get them to 29% so that I don't have to rely on my X death call. So if you can time it well, where both bosses are hit 29% with go best burst to active, then you can uh, bring another call instead of uh, X death. If you're running the same team that I did, then you might want to bring someone that uh, can provide damage because that was the issue I was facing because of the turn count, right? Uh, you don't have to really summon like squall, you know? just pure damage. Yeah, uh, but then see I brought the broth. It was to uh, help towards the end, uh, basically. So, uh, yes, I think that is the the gist of the fight. Uh, 79, 49, 29, you know, the pain. Uh, you can also not run um, 9 if you don't want to, because uh, with Paladin, Cecil's uh, overheal, most characters can survive 1. Uh, recast hit. If it's a uh, Gobes, he has no issue. Obviously, he has uh, he can survive both. Be I think he has some uh, HP 
mitigation you know, or, or reduction, I'm not exactly sure. But I, I noticed that he was taking significantly lesser uh, HP damage. Al along with Brave, so if you can if you want you can also put a ton on uh Kobes. Yeah. Yeah, uh you you the only reason why I called there was because I was so deep into the run and I didn't want to uh, restart. Just because uh B was going to to do his uh, recast ability and I had no buffs on. And uh interestingly enough, uh X Death uh, helps a lot with his uh, with his HP set. I don't have his LD, so if not, I'm pretty sure it, it, it will be very helpful here too. That's another weapon I'll be pulling later on. Uh, speaking of which, I did not pull for Kadach. He, he did not interest me whatsoever. Even though he would have made this fight so much easier to deal with. Because, um, first of all, he can, you know, you know, with the gold frame and stuff, he can just keep a, a debuff constantly on them. And secondly, uh, I think when he has uh, 12 stacks of his unique buff, he ignores Brave Reduction effects. So even though they gain a, sh a, a lot of uh, Brave Reduction, right, Kadash just ignores it. So he is... Um, if you have him, right, I would suggest just, just using him. I didn't build mine, anyway, so I couldn't be bothered to, to you know, build him just for this fight part in particular. The next character that I'll be pulling will be uh, for Bats. Yeah, so do look forward to that. I'll be uh, I'll be going for his burst also. Uh, if I get his LD early, then obviously I'll just token his burst. But if not, then I will... Uh, well, you probably see my first burst PT. Because I really like uh, his burst. And I also really like uh, the new rework Bats. But it's it's kind of a waste that um, his, his burst... It's not the same buzz that you see in the you know the original PSP DC deer. They 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 changed it. It's not him just you know using all the different swords of the main characters. That was that was so cool, man. You know when when they first released uh, buzz doing that, I was like, whoa, that's that's how it works, you know. I, I thought it was pretty interesting, man. This. Uh, guys, I apologize for the background noise. You might hear some uh, alarm going off. Yeah, that's basically my dad. He, he he's doing something outside. So um, yeah, uh, I got lucky in the sense that uh, I managed to burst all. I managed to uh, hold my burst off all the way to the end. So it is almost guaranteed that the two bosses will definitely go to twenty nine percent and 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 below with uh, go best burst still up. And uh, yeah, uh, Palin's is burst still, still does quite quite a bit more, surprisingly after. Uh, after seeing how long he, ha he has been out. But yeah, um, so at this point of the stage, right, the only worry is uh, the turn count. Because uh, if you actually reach this point of the stage, you are, you know, it is uh, good to go. Uh, you, you, you see me pulling down the screen and stuff. Uh, that was to, to make sure that I was still recording. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, God, if I have to do this again, right, I would just kill myself. This. Okay, let's let, let me put it into perspective for you. I tried this stage at uh, four in the afternoon, and I only managed to no wait. I think beyond that, before that, I think it was during lunch time, like you know twelve, and I only managed to complete it or well get a recorded version at uh, I think it was like eight o'clock. So I spent a, a good what four hours doing this stage. You know, so it was it was painful for me at least. So yeah, uh, uh, you, you you see that the both the, the the bosses. Yeah, I was saying if you reach this part of the stage, you know you're you're good to go already. Uh, because first of all is that there's no more of those brief reduction shit. You are uh, you don't have to worry about uh you know having any more calls with gravity on because yeah you're home free on that. So at this point of time, you will notice that there is very little brief gain already. And this is the time when you should really spam your skills. But at the same time, right, you still gotta be very careful with uh, with the the debuffs and also the recast gauge. Yeah, the, so the, the, the recast, as you can see, he just cleansed himself. Uh, but I was looking at the at the you know the turn count and stuff, and I was like, you know what? Screw it! I'm gonna summon. I have no more. I have no more. Uh, Debuffs that I can put on uh, A with 9 
Yeah, I'm like, okay, this time. 19% is, is, a, is a, as good a chance as, uh, as I'll get, you know. And you also uh, <laughs> wipe away their buffs. Uh, that's something interesting with uh, Diablos. So, and uh, just nice the summon pushed B uh, into the next threshold. So, um, you only need to worry, once you hit this point of the, the fight at least, you only need to worry about them cleansing one last time. So, if you can uh, hold off your burst, hold off your summon to this point of the stage. That would be uh, really amazing, especially if you have a uh, go best burst. Oh god, that will make things so much easier as well. You know, if you have go best burst, you can instead of uh, bringing uh, nine, maybe you can bring another DPS. Because uh, if you really need to, you can just burst, and then, and then uh, they won't get any brief. And then you have a friend go best burst who can you know prevent them from getting brave again. So uh, yeah, go best boss will make things so much easier, but hey, I'm not complaining, I think I got his LD pretty fast. Uh, yeah, you see me um, <laughs> still using HP, uh, well, uh, Paladin Cecil's uh, unique HP at least, HP damage. Uh, mainly because uh, he was running very very low on skills, uh, same with uh, 9. But the interesting thing about 9 is that with his LD bot, every time he does his LD, it grants him one additional count of his uh, S1. Yes, uh, yeah, grant one additional count of his S1. And uh, I didn't, I opted to not use his uh, EX there, it's mainly because one of the bosses was 10%, the other one was 11%. His EX does about 2%. <laughs> so, you know, you do your math, you're like, oh, yeah, he's gonna push either one to the next threshold, and I, I don't believe I have any debuffs that was. Uh, I didn't. I don't think that Gobez or Paladin Cecil was going to take a turn after that. But yeah, uh, at this point of the stage, had a nine percent, with the recast gauge being a zero. It is mainly a a rush to for the turn count. The op, no matter, uh, uh, it should not ticked off. It should not get a. Uh, it should not get to zero, because uh, you know, 20, 20 op count with. Uh, 10 turns and I have uh, both Gabroth and uh, Emmy's call you know, it's uh, like an instant I can put debuff on you kind of, kind of thing so yeah the op is not an issue at this point it is merely trying to kill this boss because as you will notice for some reason from uh, at 9% onwards right the boss just don't want to die yeah <laughs> 2% 3% I mean come on I've been I've been at this fight for god knows how long. Your HP attacks uh, are, are doing minuscule damage. With Paladin Cecil, it will just get healed up. Heck, they, they can't even do enough damage for the overheal, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm, at this point of time, I was just like, okay, I have 8 turns. I have, uh, it, there's, a, there's a potential, you know. I mean, Gobez has run out of his LDs, but he still does quite a bit of damage. I mean, look at that. He did 2% health. So I, all I had to do is just, you know, get to his turn again. But I was looking at the turn count, I was like, hmm. He will go once. So, I should be able to finish it. <laughs> uh, I wasn't worried about the, the HP uh, threshold for this. But yeah, uh, I'm sorry for the, you know, the abrupt start for this fight. Yeah, this stupid boss just doesn't want to die. 1% health, look at that. I use uh, S1 with 9, still don't want to die. Or rather, he died at least. But yeah, you, these bosses are such a pain towards the end. They just wanna die. I mean, dude, I come this far, and just let me win. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are, you know, are able to do this fight. I see quite a few people saying that they will skip this fight. I mean, if you have this, the same thing that I have, you know, why not give it a shot? I don't have Caius, you know. He is like one of the main calls that people bring. Oh yeah guys, this is uh, this is it, my spheres and artifacts and yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.